I'm Zach from Zeal Productions, and I will be showing you all weapons in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I will showcase the weapon name, name his real life counterpart, and we'll talk about some fun facts of the weapon if it's available. All guns shown in this video will be shown with no attachments, so no attachments will be shown in this video. However, some of the guns in single player have exclusive attachments that are nowhere found in multiplayer mode. I will be showing those. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get this video started with the handguns. The first available pistol you can use in the game is called the M9. It is modeled after the Beretta 92 SB. It is one of two of default pistols that you can choose from the very beginning of the game. In the default classes in multiplayer, it is available in Assault, Demolitions, and the Sniper classes. In the split screen mode, the M9 is available in the Grenadier, Marksman, and Close Quarters classes. In the old school mode, you automatically start with the M9. The M9 also has the highest capacity in the game at 15 rounds, 30 in old school mode. In the campaign mode, it is used by Paul Jackson and other Marines. Although this is the first handgun you can use in the game, I don't see a lot of players using it as there are much better choices out there. However, when it comes down to ammo capacity and accuracy, this pistol is definitely a go-to. The next available pistol you can use is the USP-45. It is modeled after the real-life Heckler & Koch USP-45. The USP-45 is the second and last handgun you unlock by default. In the online multiplayer, the USP-45 is available in the Spec Ops and Heavy Gunner default classes. In the split-screen multiplayer, the USP-45 is available in the Ghost and Defender classes. The USP-45 has a capacity of 12 rounds, 24 in old school mode. The USP-45 also has a better range than the M9, scoring 450 to 1000 yards. Although the USP-45 is slightly better than the M9, I don't see a lot of people using it as there are much better choices. The next pistol is the M1911-45. It is modeled after the Springfield Armory PX9109L. In multiplayer, the 1911 is unlocked at rank 16. The M1911-45 has a capacity of 8 rounds. It is the only pistol not to be featured in the old school mode. Although it is possible to rapid fire the 1911, it is not recommended due to the low capacity. It is also requiring you to be much accurate due to the low capacity. In the campaign, Captain Price uses the 1911 to kill Al-Assad. The weapon is also used to kill Imran Zakayev. The next pistol you unlock in the game is the Desert Eagle. It is modeled after the real life IMI Desert Eagle Mark 19. You unlock the Desert Eagle at rank 43. In the split screen multiplayer, the Desert Eagle is available in the Survivalist and Overwatch classes. The Desert Eagle is the most powerful handgun in the game. The Desert Eagle is a player's go to choice when it comes down to selecting handguns due to its high power and high rate of fire. It also has the lowest capacity of the game of 7 rounds, 14 in old school mode. In the campaign, the weapon can be found in the mission crew expendable by killing this enemy. Al-Assad also uses the Desert Eagle to execute President Al-Falani. The last available pistol is the Golden Desert Eagle. Just like the regular version, the gun is modeled after the real-life IMI Desert Eagle Mark 19 trimmed in gold. This is a multiplayer exclusive weapon that is unlocked at rank 55. It is also the final weapon you unlock in the game. The Golden Desert Eagle has the same exact statistics as the original Desert Eagle. 
All this is really is just a Desert Eagle trimmed in gold. The gold Desert Eagle was originally supposed to be in Modern Warfare 2 also, but the weapon got cut. I really don't have anything else to say, so enjoy this short gameplay of it. The first assault rifle available in the game is the M16A4. It is modeled after the civilian Colt Sporter competition as evidenced by the two position selector switch and the lack of a bayonet lug. In multiplayer, the gun will be available by default as it is the main weapon in the assault default class. In the split screen multiplayer, the gun will be available in the grenadier class. In the old school mode, it will be available on three different maps, ambush, backlot, and wet work. It will also be available as one of two assault rifles once you unlock the create a class feature at rank 4. The M16A4 is a 3 round burst assault rifle and is a very popular choice among players as it deals high damage and the burst cycle is very fast. The gun has an RPN of 937 rounds per minute and a capacity of 30 rounds, 60 in old school mode. In the single player, the M16A4 is used by Lieutenant Vasquez as, and is also used by many Marines. The single player version of the weapon is automatic and can only be acquired on the mission Warpig. The M16A4 is one of, if not the best assault rifles in the game and is a very easy weapon to get used to and will not let you down in combat. next available saw rifle is the AK-47. It is modeled after the early Type 1 AK-47. In multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked when you unlock Create a Class feature at rank 4. It is the second of two assault rifles to be available after unlocking the Create a Class feature. In the old school mode, the AK-47 is available in 11 different maps, those being Backlot, Bog, Chinatown, Crash, Crossfire, Kill House, Pipeline, Shipment, Showdown, Strike, and Vacant. The AK-47 is an automatic rifle, has an RPM of 755 rounds per minute, and a capacity of 30 rounds, 60 in old school mode. The AK-47 overall is a good rifle to use, especially when you're in the early ranks of the game. I should also mention that the AK-47 has a gold camo you can equip on it. It is the only assault rifle in the game that has a gold camo. In the single player, the AK-47 is most frequently used in the in-game enemies, such as the Ultra Nationalist and Op 4 militants. The next available assault rifle is the M4 Carbine. It is modeled after the Colt AR-15A3. In multiplayer, you unlock this weapon after reaching rank 10. In the old school mode, this weapon is found on 12 different maps. Block, Chinatown, Crash, Creek, District, Downpour, Kill House, Overgrown, Pipeline, Shipment, Strike, and Wet Work. The M4 Carbine is an automatic assault rifle that has an RPM of 857 rounds per minute and has a capacity of 30 rounds, 60 in the old school mode. The M4 Carbine is one of the most versatile weapons in online multiplayer on all platforms due to its low unlock level and good stats. In single player, the weapon is known as the M4A1 Assault Rifle and has three different variants. The regular one first seen on the mission Charlie Don't Surf is equipped with a foregrip and has a unique reflex sight. The SOP mod variant first seen in the mission Blackout is equipped with a red dot sight, silencer, and M203 grenade launcher. The third and vinyl variant is called Grenadier. Introduced in the mission The Bog, this version is equipped with a grenade launcher and holographic sight. The next SR rifle in the game is the G3. It is modeled after the Heckler & Koch HK91A3. In multiplayer, you unlock the G3 at rank 25. In split-screen multiplayer, the G3 is available in the Warfighter class. In Old School, it is available on the maps Backlot, Block, and Creek. The G3 is a semi-automatic rifle with high damage, low recoil, very high accuracy, and an ammo capacity of 20 rounds, 40 in Old School mode. 
In Call of Duty 4, the G3 has a firing cap of 1200, making it, in theory, one of the fastest killing machines in the game. This was reduced in Modern Warfare Remastered to just 625 RPM. In single player, the G3 is fully automatic and can easily be found on the mission Blackout. The next assault rifle is the G36C. It is modeled after the Heckler & Koch G36C. In multiplayer, the G36 III is unlocked at rank 37. In split screen multiplayer, it is available in the Warfighter class. In old school mode, the G36C is available on 8 different maps. Block, Broadcast, Chinatown, Crash, Creek, Overgrown, Pipeline, and Vacant. It has an RPM of 759 rounds per minute and an ammo capacity of 30 rounds, 60 in old school mode. The G36C has one of the fastest draw times of any primary weapon at 0.4 seconds, bearing the slightly faster M1684 at 0.35 seconds, rivaling even the speed of a sidearm. This means that switching to the G36C is almost as fast as switching to a secondary, with arguably much more killing power. Using overkill with the G36C as a secondary is an excellent alternative to carrying a sidearm. In single player, the G36C always comes with a reflex sight, being one of the only two weapons that are found one with one during the campaign, the other one being the M4A1. The next available assault rifle is the M14. It is modeled after the Springfield Armory M1A. This weapon is exclusive to online multiplayer. You can unlock this weapon at rank 46. In the old school mode, this weapon is available on seven different maps. Block, Bog, Broadcast, Crash, District, Pipeline, and Strike. The M14 is a semi-automatic rifle with high damage, accuracy, and recoil, as well as a longer effective range compared to the other assault rifles. It has a RPM of 1200 max and a capacity of 20 rounds. 40 in old school mode. The M14 has substantial strengths and weaknesses, with the highest per shot damage of all assault rifles and unusually good wall penetration, but with the corresponding high recoil and manual fire rate. The iron sight's lack of zoom can stand in the way of some of the longest shots being made, so it is recommended that you use a red dot sight to fix this problem. The final available assault rifle is the MP44. It is modeled after the real-life Sturmgewehr 44, aka STG 44. The MP44 is the final assault rifle you unlock in the game. You will unlock the MP44 at rank 52. The MP44 is the only automatic assault rifle in the game with no idle sway, making it good for firing single shots at long distances. It has unobtrusive iron sights, though it has blurry rear sights. This rifle is also unique for having no available attachments. In practice, the MP44 is most similar to the AK-47. However, the AK-47 has lower recoil and a higher rate of fire, allowing it to outclass the MP40 in most situations. While the MP44 is tricky to use, it still needs to be fairly used extensively to unlock the golden camo for the AK-47. I personally don't see a problem with using this weapon, although the iron sights can be a bit tricky to get used to. But if you're into that World War II vibe, then this is the gun for you. The first available SMG is the MP5. It is modeled after the Heckler & Koch MP5M. In multiplayer, the MP5 is available at rank 1 in the default class Spec Ops. In the old school mode, it will be available on three maps, Creek, District, and Shipment. The MP5 is one of the most popular assault rifles in multiplayer because of its low level unlock key and relatively controllable recoil and high damage at close range. It is my favorite SMG to use in the game. 
It has an RPM of 800 rounds per minute and a capacity of 30 rounds, 60 in old school mode. There is a suppressed variant of the MP5 called the MP5SD. It is modeled after the Heckler & Koch MP5SD3. In single player, this weapon is the main weapon Soak McTavish uses in the mission crew expendable. In multiplayer, you can use the MP5SD by equipping the silencer attachment on the MP5. You unlock the silencer attachment after getting 75 kills with the MP5. In the split screen multiplayer, it is available in the Ghost class. In the old school mode, the MP5SD is available on four maps, Block, Crossfire, Overgrown, and Wetwork. Besides the range decrease, the MP5 has the same stats as the original MP5. If you're looking for something that's silent and deadly, this is the SMG for you. The next available SMG is the Scorpion. It is modeled after the Scorpion SA VZ61. In the multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked when you unlock the Create a Class feature at rank 4. In old school mode, you automatically start with the Scorpion as your primary weapon, making it available in every map. The Scorpion has a relatively short range but has very high damage within range and high accuracy. The weapon has an RPM of 857 rounds per minute and capacity of 20 rounds, 40 in old school mode. Even though it has a very high damage and high accuracy, it is mostly hated by the community due to its range and ammo capacity. I personally am not a fan of this weapon at all. I struggle with the weapon a lot as you see in this gameplay. Where this weapon really shines is in Hardcore. Since the health is reduced in Hardcore, this makes the Scorpion a deadly weapon to use. Good luck trying to find a Hardcore match though, as it is almost impossible to find a Hardcore match as of 2024. The next available SMG is the Mini Uzi. It is modeled after the IMI Mini Uzi. In multiplayer, the Mini Uzi is unlocked at rank 13. In the old school mode, the weapon can be found on 6 maps. Chinatown, Kill House, Overgrown, Pipeline, Showdown, and Vacant. In the single player, the gun is used by Viktor Sakayev and the Russian Ultra Nationalist. The gun has an RPM of 952 rounds per minute and a capacity of 32 rounds. 64 in old school mode. The mini Uzi has a high fire rate, but lacks power and range. The high recoil makes the gun very hard to get kills with sometimes. I personally had a very hard time getting kills as you see in this gameplay here. It is recommended that you burst fire the trigger, making the gun easier to control and easier to kill. As you also see here, the mini Uzi also has a golden camo which you unlock after completing every submachine gun challenge. The next available SMG is the AK-74U. It is modeled after the JG AK Beta F Airsoft Rifle, which is an AKS-47 with a very short front end, an AKS-74U gas block slash front sight, flash hider and rear sight, and black polymer furniture with an RIS rail on the handguard. In multiplayer, this weapon is unlocked at rank 28. In the old school mode, the weapon can be found on two maps, Ambush and Crossfire. The AK-74U bears many similarities to the weapons in the Assault Rifle class. It is the only SMG with noticeable sway. It also has the same wall penetration and the higher zoom of the Assault Rifles. The movement speed when aiming down the sights is slower than the multiplayer, making it act more of an assault rifle than an SMG. The AK-74U has an RPM of 705 rounds per minute in single player and 800 rounds per minute in multiplayer. In single player, it is seen used by the Ultra Nationalist, the Middle Eastern Alt 4, and Nikolai once he is rescued in the mission Blackout. In the mission FNG, it is seen with a GP25 grenade launcher attachment, however it cannot be used and it's never seen again in the game. 
The gun overall is a great SMG to use, although as said, it acts more of an assault rifle than an SMG. The final available SMG is the P90. It is modeled after the FN P90TR. In multiplayer, this weapon is unlocked at rank 40. In the old school mode, it is available on 11 maps. Backlot, Block, Bog, Broadcast, Countdown, Crash, Downpour, Killhouse, Shipment, Pipeline, and Strike. In single player, the P90 is a rare weapon only used occasionally by the Russian ultranationalist. In the later levels of the game, typically the gun is found unsuppressed with iron sights. However, one can be found with a suppressor and red dot sight in the mission all gillied up, labeled as the P90SD. The P90 has a 50 round magazine capacity, 100 in old school mode, and has a very high fire rate of 937 rounds per minute. Due to its extremely large magazine, it is also the weapon that is able to carry the most amount of ammunition in the game, bearing LMGs. The large magazine of the P90 confers multiple advantages. Despite its weaker power at close range, the P90 is more forgiving in to the inaccurate users. It also allows users to take on multiple foes without having to reload. It is also good at firing from the hip, which a lot of players, including myself, does a lot, a lot of times at close range. The large ammo capacity also means that the bandolier perk is less than necessary for the other SMGs. If you're looking for a gun that has a large ammo capacity and is great from firing from the hip, this is definitely a go-to choice. The first available LMG is the M249 saw. As the name says, this weapon is modeled after the M249 saw. In multiplayer, this gun is unlocked by default as it appears in the Heavy Gunner Default class. In Split Screen, the weapon is available in the Overwatch class. In the Old School mode, the weapon is available on three maps, Ambush, Crossfire, and Chinatown. The M249 Saw is a low damage LMG. It deals 30 damage per bullet in all circumstances. This requires four shots to kill in all ranges. Damage is the M249 Saw's biggest weakness relative to the other LMGs as it needs more bullets to get kills. The M249 Saw compensates for its poor damage per shot with the highest fire rate among all LMGs, firing at 937 rounds per minute. It also has a capacity of 100 rounds, 200 in old school mode. The M249 Saw's accuracy is decent for the LMG. The iron sights are somewhat obstructive but are small enough not to infringe on the player's vision too much. I personally had a hard time killing enemies due to the recoil and the, the iron sights. I recommend you use the red dot sight to fix this problem. Overall, the M249 saw is a surprisingly versatile weapon, especially when you equip the grip attachment. When equipped with the grip, the M249 saw is a weapon that allows for accurate fire at all ranges and situations, and the weapon provides surprisingly good close quarters combat performance. The M249 saw with the grip is arguably the best LMG for more aggressive LMG users as the highly improved close quarters consistency and, reload, and quicker reloads make the M249 saw far more palatable and aggressive role. I also should mention that this weapon is also the main weapon used by Sergeant Griggs in single player. The next available LMG is the RPD. As the name says, it is modeled after the real-life RPD. In the multiplayer, this weapon is unlocked when you unlock the Creative Class feature at rank 4. In old school mode, this weapon is available on 7 maps. Bog, Broadcast, Crash, Pipeline, Strike, Vacant, and Wet Work. The weapon is very powerful, even without any attachments. It deals 40 damage at all ranges with no drop-off, killing in 3 shots. Complementing the high damage is a medium fire rate of 700 rounds per minute, giving the RPD the fastest time to kill among all LMGs. The RPD has a capacity of 100 rounds, 200 in old school mode. Even more, it has rather low recoil, however it does have some drawbacks, such as having the longest reload time of all guns and poor hipfire accuracy 
which can be mitigated but somewhat by the sleight of hand and steady aim respectively. In the single player, the RPD is frequently used by the loyalist, ultra-nationalist, and OP4. A mounted form of the RPD can be found in the mission Shock and Awe in the building after rescuing the stranded pl platoon, as well as the mission Safe House in two of the houses. Overall, this is a weapon is a great weapon to use and will not let you down in combat, especially with its high damage and high capacity. The final available LMG is the M60E4. It is actually modeled after the M60E3. In multiplayer, the M60E4 is unlocked at rank 19. In the split screen mode, it is available in the survivalist class. In the old school mode, it is available on 5 maps. Block, Countdown, Downpour, Kill House, and Showdown. The M60E4 is the most powerful machine gun in multiplayer in terms of bullet damage with one of the highest damage outputs per shot in the game, but has high recoil and low rate of fire compared to the M249 saw or RPD. An unusual property of the M60E4 is that it suffers from damage drop off at range. Neither the M249 saw or the RPD suffer from this. Although it is likely for balance due to the M60E4's potential for a two shot kill. The M60E4 has a large belt capacity of 100 rounds, 200 in old school mode, but also suffers from a slow reload time of nearly 10 seconds and a slow speed when switching to it. Thanks to its high damage per shot, some players use sleight of hand rather than stopping power in order to cut down on reload time. It is also the only LMG with a golden camo. The first available shotgun is the W1200. It is modeled after the Winchester 1200. In multiplayer, the weapon is available at rank 2 when the demolition's default clash is unlocked. In split screen, the weapon is available in the appointment class. In old school, this weapon is available on 9 maps. Ambush, Backlot, Countdown, Creek, District, Downpour, Overgrown, Showdown, and Wetwork. The W-12 has higher damage but less range than the M-1014. The gun fires 8 pellets per shot. At any range of 7.5 meters, the W-12 will deal 40 damage per pellet, needing 3 of the 8 pellets in a shot to hit to kill in one shot. The W-12's fire rate is poor, being pump action. The W-12 fires significantly slower than the M-1014, firing at just 80 rounds per minute. The gun has a capacity of 7 shells, 14 shells in old school mode. The W-12 has good accuracy for a shotgun. The iron sights are simple, and the W-12 has extremely tight hip fire spread, on par with the Desert Eagle with, for the tightest default hip fire accuracy in the game. Overall, the W-12 has a unique feel as it pertains to slow firing shotguns. It fires faster than the average pump action shotgun in Call of Duty, but its total range is noticeably lacking and unlike any other slow firing shotguns, the W-12's 1200's recoil mechanics can be slightly off-putting. That said, the gun provides better overall one-shot kill reliability than the M1014. The user will need to adjust to the W1200 having a bit less total range than expected and having no very advantageous attachments to use. Those that get accustomed to the feel of the W1200 can be a devastatingly effective opponent in CQC. The next and final available shotgun is the M1014. It is modeled after the Benelli M4 Super 90. In multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked at rank 31. Its split screen is available in the Defender class. In old school mode, the weapon is available on 9 maps. Block, Bog, Broadcast, Crash, Crossfire, Pipeline, Shipment, Strike, and Vacant. The M1014 is the lower damage but longer range shotgun compared to the W1200. The M1014 fires 8 pellets per shot. 
At any range short of 7.5 meters, the M1014 will deal 30 damage per pellet, needing 4 pellets out of the 8 in the shot to hit in order to get a one-shot kill. The M1014 has a good fire rate. It is a semi-automatic that fires a fire rate of 300 rounds per minute. The M1014 has a low ammo capacity in the regular multiplayer, having 4 shells. In the old school mode, the gun has a capacity of 8 shells. In the single player, it has a capacity of 7 shells. The M1014 has a decent accuracy for a shotgun. It has a center speed of 1000. The M1014 has a decent handling overall. The M1014 allows users to move at a 100% base movement speed, but only strafe at 40% of the base movement speed. As you see here, it also is the only shotgun to have a golden camo. The first available sniper rifle is the M40A3. As the name says, it's modeled after the real-life M40A3. The weapon is exclusive to multiplayer and is the only sniper with this distinction. The M40A3 is unlocked at rank 3 once you unlock the sniper default class. In the old school mode, it is available on three maps, ambush, broadcast, and wet work. The M40A3 is a favorite among experienced and inexperienced players alike. The M40A3 is one of two bolt-action sniper rifles in the game, the other being the R700. It has lower recoil and less sway than the R700 so it is easier to track targets if the first shot did not kill the target. The M40A3 has a capacity of 5 rounds, 10 in old school mode. The M40A3 has one major disadvantage that the other sniper rifles do not have. It is comparatively difficult to use without the stopping power perk. Without stopping power, the M40A3 is a one-shot kill only to the head and neck, and its rate of fire is too low to reliably two-shot kill. This makes it one of the weakest sniper rifles without stopping power, and means that stopping power is practically a necessity. This also means that the M40A3 is less than ideal for killing juggernauts, even when it has stopping power equipped, as juggernaut and stopping power cancel each other out. However, with the stopping power perk against targets not using Juggernaut, the M40A3 is just as powerful as the R700 and Barrett 50 Cal with stopping power against enemies that are not using Juggernaut. The next available sniper is the M21. It is actually an M14 with a scope equipped on it, so the weapon is modeled after the Springfield Armory M1A. In multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked at rank 7. In the split screen mode, the weapon is available in the Sharpshooter class. In old school mode, the weapon is available on 3 maps, Ambush, Kill House, and Showdown. The M21 has a capacity of 10 rounds, 20 in old school mode. The M21 has the lowest damage multipliers, but its low recoil and fast fire rate make it very easy to fire multiple rounds very quickly. This means that if the first shot is a miss or does not kill the target, the shooter still has an opportunity to get the kill. Unfortunately, this could lead to the bad habit of trigger mashing, which can result in a lot of missed shots, wasting valuable ammo. It is more effective to aim and fire accurate shots individually unless spraying is more beneficial such as in close quarters combat. Many consider the M21 to be the best sniper rifle in hardcore modes due to its low recoil and the fact that all sniper rifles are one hit kills if a direct hit is landed. In single player, a suppressed version with a ghillie camouflage is found in blackout and all ghillied up. This suppressed version cannot be used in multiplayer. The next available sniper rifle is the Dragonov. It is modeled after the SVD Dragonov. In the multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked at rank 22. In the old school mode, the weapon is available on 4 maps, Block, Countdown, Downpour, and Strike. The weapon has an RPM of 480 rounds per minute in single player, 1200 rounds per minute in multiplayer, and a capacity of 10 rounds, 
20 in old school mode. This weapon is capable of killing an enemy in one shot to the chest or above, excluding the arms. Because the Dragonov lacks any 1.1 or 1.4 multipliers, stopping power has no effect on this weapon unless shooting at, their, at targets using the Juggernaut perk or through walls. In terms of one-shot killing potential, the Dragonov is the best sniper rival to use without stopping power by a considerable margin. It is tied without stopping power with the Barrett 50 cal and the R700 for damage and has very high fire cap. This leaves room for another tier 2 perk, such as UAV jammer or overkill. The Dragonov is also extremely effective in hardcore. The length of the Dragonov in third person, however, may render stealth tactics moot. Considering the player may be detected by another player around the corner or underneath a foliage due to the Dragonov, it is also one of the six weapons that can equip gold camouflage. The next available sniper rifle is the R700. It is modeled after the Remington Model 700P. In multiplayer, the weapon is unlocked at rank 34. In split screen, the weapon is available in marksman class. In old school, this weapon is found on six maps, backlot, Chinatown, crash, kill house, pipeline, and wet work. The R700 is much like the M48 III, except it holds four rounds, has more reliable damage multipliers, and has a greater recoil and sway. However, with stopping power, they can both equal damage in most situations, making the M48 III far superior if planning to use stopping power as a perk. When not using stopping power, it will kill in one shot to the head, chest, or shoulders, doing the same damage as the Barrett 50 Cal in Dragunov. Being a low-capacity bolt-action rifle, the R700's greatest asset is the sheer shop stopping power. It can take out players using Juggernaut with a one-shot to the chest, neck, or head with you while using stopping power. In this single player, this weapon can only be used in the level The Sins of the Father as a starting weapon, although it comes with little ammo. It is possible to replenish the ammo for it as it shares ammo with the G3. The R700 is also the only bolt action rifle to be obtainable in the campaign, as the M4A3 is exclusive to multiplayer. The final available sniper rifle is the Barrett 50 Cal. It is modeled after the Barrett M82A1. The weapon is unlocked at rank 49. In old school mode, the weapon is available on five maps, Creek, Crossfire, District, Overgrown, and Vacant. The Barrett 50 Cal with the Dragunov and R700 without stopping power perk are able to kill in one hit if shooting in the neck, chest, or head. With the stopping power perk, its one hit kill range expands to include the stomach. It has the highest penetration of any weapon in multiplayer. The weapon has a capacity of 10 rounds, 20 in old school mode. Because of its very high damage, firing rapidly with this gun is not usually necessary, although it can be used as a last resort in close quarters as the weapon can be fired as fast as you can pull the trigger. However, the Barrett 50 cal also has a few disadvantages. It has very high recoil, but always travels in the same direction, and the radical quickly resets back on the initial point of aim. A good way to compensate for its high recoil is to treat it as a bolt action rifle, and only fire it when it's returned to its original position. Another disadvantage is the fact that the rifle itself is so long, it can give the player's position away. Its firing sound is so loud and distinctive and can also give away the user's position in hardcore. The Barrett 50 Cal has an unusual high fire cap of 1200 rounds per minute. Unlike the pistols, which had their fire rate nerfed in Modern Warfare Remastered, the Barrett 50 Cal retains this rate of fire in the remastered version. The weapon is also used in the mission One Shot One Kill to blast Imran Zakayev's arm off. It's now or never. Take the shot. Target is dying. I shot Lieutenant. The first launcher is the M203 grenade launcher. It is modeled after the airsoft M203 grenade launcher. This weapon really doesn't need no introduction. 
doesn't need no explanation either since pretty much everyone knows what this weapon is, so I'm gonna let the gameplay speak for itself. Next launcher is the GP-25 grenade launcher. It is actually modeled after the GP-30 grenade launcher. You can only use the GP-25 grenade launcher attachment on the AK-47 by equipping the grenade launcher attachment for it. Other than being a grenade launcher, I really don't have that much to say, so just enjoy the gameplay. The next launcher is the RPG-7. As its name suggests, this weapon is modeled after the real-life RPG-7. In multiplayer, the weapon is actually used as a perk. It is unlocked at level 1, and it's used in the Demolition's default class. Other than the weapon being a perk, I really don't have that much to say about it. The next launcher is the FIM-92 Stinger. It is modeled after the Area Life FIM-92 Stinger. This launcher is a campaign exclusive. The weapon is available on the missions Hunted and All Gillied Up. The Stinger is a lock-on only rocket launcher that locks onto enemy helicopters. The next launcher is the Mark 19 Automatic Grenade Launcher. I couldn't find any information on what this gun is modeled after, so we're just gonna have to say that it's modeled after the Mark 19 Grenade Launcher. In single player, this weapon is only used in the mission Shock and Awe, and it's used in the helicopter segments. The weapon is automatic and fires infinite grenades with a overheating feature. The final available launcher in the game is the FGM-148 Javelin. As the name says, it is modeled after the FGM-148 Javelin. Just like the Stinger, the launcher is only available in single player. It is available only on the missions Bo The Bog and Heat. Just like the Stinger, the Javelin is a lock-on only launcher. The weapon fires infinite rockets but you will have to wait a short time for the rocket to come down and hit the target in order to fire it again. I will briefly talk about the grenades and explosives in the game, just to save time. The one and only hand grenade in the game is modeled after the M67 hand grenade. The stun and flash grenades are modeled after the M84 stun grenade. The smoke grenade is modeled after the M83 smoke grenade.
The C4 isn't based on anything, but the detonator is based off the M57 firing device, also known as the clacker. The claymore is based off the M18A1 claymore, 